friend and welcome to the channel Teresa Renee thank you so much for stopping by so I am out and about today I am waiting for a friend to pull up um, I need to get something from her and I then am going to go get my nails done I was supposed to get my nails done next week when I come back in town but girl look at there and I know that by Friday my nails are gonna be wearing the crap out of me because they I don't like my nails looking fresh I think I'll tell you before if they cannot look fresh then i just rather take them off so and they look they don't look bad now like i can make it now but i know by the weekend it'll be a wrap by the weekend girl i'll be pissed by the weekend and uh yes i probably won't be doing too much um chris is working saturday just about all day so um i will probably be at the room chilling um not doing too much but i still don't want my nails to work I don't care if I'm going anywhere or not. I want my nails fresh. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to let these windows down because I have been burning up ever since I got out the shower. And I'm just hot. I have when I eat. I'm a little bit hungry, but not really hungry. Um, But, yeah. So, so, yeah. I don't know what I'll be doing the weekend. Not a whole lot, though. Because with the virus out i still be going out girl because i need to get out like you just you know we have been going through this for so long now it's like you just gotta bundle up uh dress up you know what i'm saying and protect yourself basically so in the airport i plan you know like one plot flying and stuff i will be wearing two masks and uh yeah you know but that's about it uh not a lot going on I want to go so go see Big Red. Tomorrow is Zobo's birthday. Zoe and my niece birthday. But I'm going to be out of town. But uh, I, I did get the pleasure of spending time with Zobo from Sunday to Wednesday. No, no, from Saturday to last night late. So she and I will, we had a good time. And she had a really, really bad cold. Zobug has been tested for COVID so many times because she just started school this year. And, well, she's in the Head Start program. And if they get a sniffling, a cold, or anything, they have to go be tested. Like, if she goes in there and she's coughing or she sneezes, test. And, like, she cannot go back until she tests, which she's missed a whole lot of school. And even Riley has missed a lot of daycare because it's the same thing. They're just being really, really cautious, which is a good thing. Um, and each time they've all, they, they have both test, tested negative, thank God. One of my grandsons did get COVID. He's 10. He plays on a football team and uh, he got COVID, but he did really well. He didn't have any symptoms. He had a headache, which of course, you know, the headache is the biggest thing, but he did have a little headache and... Uh, it was so bad because it was during Christmas time and poor thing he had to quarantine the whole Christmas like he and it was just really kind of sad so then after he kind of got over my son his dad Brian got it and so they hadn't been able to see hadn't been able to see each other you know for a while because they both had COVID and I don't know it was just so crazy but God is blessed and God is good through it all, you know, it's so much to thank and praise God for because when you really sit back and look, when I look at how many people in my family has had COVID last year and this year, including my mom, including my aunt, the one that I took that I was so concerned about, God has really been blessing and just, you know, letting them come out of the hospital safe not the hospital but not even letting them have to go to the hospital you know keeping them safe and you know i told you i was so concerned about my aunt and god has brought her through it and you know i call her i call her so much you know was just checking on her and stuff like that and every day she was like i'm getting stronger i'm getting stronger you know i could feel myself getting stronger and she was just like you know i just thank god and god is good i'm so grateful to be alive you know just gratitude girl i'm telling you when you think about the goodness of god jesus and all that he does jesus god that all that he does i mean your heart just cry out hallelujah because it's so much he does so much he just does so much but girl let me tell you i was on facebook last night you know how the little advertisements come up so a little advertisement come up for 
uh, what was it? For um, a voodoo paper doll. You heard me. I'm, I wish I could find it. I'm going to see if I can insert it in the clip. If I can get a clip and insert it. If I just don't decide. just you know. it, it is a voodoo paper doll. And you write the person's name on there, girl. It is so crazy. When I read that thing, I was like, oh, my God. It has, like, spell it. Like, if you want to cast a spell, if you want to bless them. <sighs> girl, I got to. My nose is just. Oh. If you want to curse them, if you want to bless them. It tells you where to stick the pit at and the effects that it would have it and what it, you know, targets. And I'm just like, oh, my God. I cannot even believe this. This is so crazy to me. But, girl, it, it's just a lot going on in this world. And I told my grandma today, I text, I sent it to her. And she was like, what the heck? And then she was like, you know, that's why we really have to pray over. I said, girl, you, so much is going on nowadays. You don't know what people do. You know, back in the day, people had to go to root doctors and stuff like that. These days, girl, they don't have to do none of that. And they can order a paper voodoo doll off of, Insta, off of uh, YouTube. Not YouTube, off of Amazon. And the crazy part is... Is that you just don't even know, honestly, who messing around with this stuff. It is just so crazy. I'm about to, I want to go to my mom's today, but girl, I ain't going to be able to. I got so much to do at home. Because you know how you just don't want to leave the house in the mess. And it's not in the mess, but I need to mop my floors. I have I have had kids in my house, honest to God, since Thanksgiving, off and on. Mostly on. And... Girl, I stripped the beds today, put all the linen in there. I still have them in, in the wash. I need to redo them, actually. Um, but I just threw the stuff in the wash and walked out the house. I still got to do the comforters and stuff, but I did the sheets. And I got to go back home because I do need to mop. Like, I need to mop my floor so bad. I, I got so tired of sweeping yesterday. Not even just yesterday, shit, for the last three days. I told Chris, I am so sick of sweeping. I really felt like just leaving the floor like it was until the kids got done. But that word crap on me. I swept so many times. I got that little automatic thing. But child, I can't turn it on with the kids because they be running behind the thing, picking it up, doing just so much stuff with it. Girl, oh, I saw my friend. We had a little good conversation. Oh my goodness, I wish I had my thing in here because I got to be getting down the road. But anyway, we had a really, really good conversation. It is. This is a girl that I grew up knowing and we kind of just lost track with each other you know how you just lose track but she's always been so sweet oh my gosh she's always been one of the sweetest people ever and she is still like that she's a good person she's just really sweet and so we recently reconnected and she's just so sweet you have just seen someone just so sweet that you just be like oh she's so sweet but girl let me get up I need to go by TJ Bats real quick I don't need to go, but I got some, I got Christmas money that's been burned in my pockets. Girl, I've been, I had gift cards, money, and stuff like that. Tootie gave me um, some gift cards. My granddaughter, girl, it's still, it seems so funny when your grandchildren are working and they start giving you stuff. Honestly, gave me a really nice fridge for my cosmetic stuff and i had one but it was small but the one she gave me is really really nice it's got a big mirror on the front and everything um it's really really nice she gave me that and some uh what she gave me some hand wash some perfumes some other stuff and tootie gave me gift cards so i went and bought me some stuff that i wanted with um the gift card she gave me but it is so funny when your grandkids start working and they start looking out and get you know hooking you up and i remember for my birthday i think i said it worked today but two to show it up and girl she had a little money to my hear my she gave him that little money child she was so excited i was like oh my god but my grandkids are oh, they're just so sweet but anyway let me get on down this road get my nails done i will check back in shortly yeah mm -hmm.